EVgo was recently downgraded, rightfully so. This is the monthly chart and you can see price has been respecting this down channel. I do have a couple of levels of interest at seven dollars at four fifty and then zero. I don't think EVgo stock has bottomed yet, and I'm looking for some type of longer term reversal pattern in the form of a W, which would be a double bottom. You're in the middle of this down channel, so there's definitely more room to the downside. Going to the weekly chart. can see that level of interest at seven dollars a bit more that was support for a while which is now resistance let's get into the article before we continue with the analysis as we look at potential measured moves so EVgo stock is falling on Wednesday this was yesterday after the maker of chargers for EVs was hit with a downgrade by TD Cowan that downgrade has the firm's analysts dropping EBGO stock from an outperform rating to a market perform rating. Investors will keep in mind that the analyst consensus rating for EBGO shares is a moderate buy based on eight opinions. To go along with this downgrade, TD Cowan also dropped the price target for EBGO stock from six to four dollars per share. That still represents a roughly 85% upside for the stock, however, it's well below estimates um, consensus price at a prediction of $7.55. TD Cowan's analysts provided several reasons for the downgrade. That includes concerns about funding at the EV charging company. Another issue highlighted by TD Cowan is increasing rates. So, funding, well, they have to go back to the public markets, ask for more capital probably in the form of uh, taking on debt or um, selling more shares um, and then you know a lot of companies are struggling in this high interest rate environment where uh, the cost of capital is just at a higher dollar amount than it was a year or two years ago investors in EVgo stock aren't reacting well to the downgrade as a result the company shares are down 8% this was Wednesday again that comes with some almost a million shares changing hands as compared to its daily average trading volume of about 3.2 million shares all right so kind of going back to the weekly chart you can see price took this next leg down this was the most recent support which was broke broken about a week ago Price is at two dollars and twenty-one cents. I think we got another dollar downside in the stock, which would take us to a dollar twenty-five-ish. However, there's no reason why price can't gravitate down to that dollar level. That's where I think we're headed after breaking and not holding this support level at three dollars and fifty cents thanks for watching subscribe please like the video